Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will be also, we will be also using memory bit and implement latching. So let's start. Example 10. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be still on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. So for switch 1, we will use normally open contact and for switch 2, we will use normally closed contact. And then we will use a memory bit that will be flashed. And then only motors will remain on either if switch one is turned off. And then when switch, uh, and then to turn off the motors, we will use switch two. So let's move to TI portal where we will implement a ladder logic for this example and do the simulation also. This is the interface of TI portal. Let's go to PLC tags first and default tag table. Here we have to add our inputs and outputs. So the first input is switch 1 and then we have switch 2 also. So I will click on here and then drag it to here. So in this way, switch 2 is automatically fast. And then we have two motors, motor 1 and then I will change the address to Q0.0 .0 as it is an output. So it will start with Q and then And then we have another motor, motor 2. I will click here and then drag it to here. So motor 2 is automatically fast. <coughs> and then I will minimize this. And then I will go to program blocks and then main OP. So here I will use a normally open contact and a coil. This normally open contact will be switch 1. So I will write S and select switch 1 here. And then this coil, I will use it as memory bit. So I will assign address to it as M0.0. .0. And then this M0.0 .0 will be used here as normally open contact M0.0. .0. And then there will be two motors. So for coil 1 for motor 1. And then I will open the branch. like this and then one more coil. So I use the shortcuts shift F8 to open the branch and then shift F7 to insert a coil. So this coil will be for motor 1 and then this coil will be for motor 2. So what happens is that when switch 1 is pressed or it is turned on M0.0 .0 gets through and when M0.0 .0 gets through motor 1 and motor 2 gets through. But when switch 1 is turned off, M0.0 .0 turns off, which will turn off the motors. But after switch, after turning off the switch 1, motors should remain on. But to attain that, we have to latch. So I will open the branch, shift 8. Then I have to insert a normally open contact, shift F2, and then close the branch. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M0.0, .0, which is a memory bit. So now when switch 1 is pressed, M0.0 .0 gets through. And when M0.0 .0 gets through, motor 1 and motor 2 turns on. And then when switch 1 is turned off, due to latching, M0.0 .0 still remains true. And when it remains true, it will make motor 1 and motor 2 to remain on. And then we need to turn off these motors with switch 2. So here we will use a normally closed contact. A normally closed contact and it will be switch 2. So when motor 1 and motor 2 is true because of this M0.0 .0, and when switch 2 is pressed or turned on as it is a normally closed contact, in true state, it will not allow current to flow through it. As a result, this M0.0 .0 gets to, gets off and which in turn will turn off motor 1 and motor 2. So firstly, when switch 1 is pressed or turned on, the current will flow through it. 
and switch 2 is in false state as it is a normally closed contact in false state it will allow current to flow through it as a result this m0.0 .0 gets true and when m0.0 .0 gets true this motor 1 and motor 2 turns on and then when switch 1 is turned off as previously m0.0 .0 is true the current also will flow through this and when it is turned off the current will flow through it and switch 2 is false in false state uh, and it is a normally closed contact the current will flow through it as a result this m0.0 .0 still remains on after turning off the switch 1 as it remains on it will make motor 1 and motor 2 to remain on also and then we will use switch 2 when it is turned on it will uh, break the circuit so the, uh, this normally closed contact in true state will not allow current to flow through it as a result this m0.0 .0 gets off and as a result the current will not flow through it and motor 1 and motor 2 turns off so let's start the simulation here After that, I will start CPU and then I will start monitor and then I will switch to project view Let's create a new project I will click here then PLC simulation tables and then simulation table 1 <coughs> and then right click here and then load project tags. So here are the, all the tags switch 1, switch 2, motor 1, motor 2, this memory bed. So now we can do the simulation. So when I turn on switch 1 as a result this M0.0 .0 gets true and when M0.0 .0 gets true motor 1 and motor 2 turns on. And then, when I turn it off, so due to latching, this M0.0 .0 is true, the current will flow through it, this switch 2 is in false state and it is a normally closed contact, the current will flow through it and as a result, this M0.0 .0 remains on, which in <coughs> turn, turns on the motor 1 and motor 2. These motors still remain on. And then, when I turn on switch 2, this switch 2 as it is a normally closed contact in true state it will not allow current to flow through it. As a result this M0.0 .0 gets off and when M0.0 .0 gets off the current will not flow through it. As a result motor 1 and motor 2 turns off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.